a little bit breezy today, but we're getting a start on cutting all the poltrusions. So I ended up finding some uh, big giant jack stands. Yeah, I'm having a hard time because I'm pointing backwards here, but uh, they're called pipe jacks and they're like just tall jack stands. So uh, instead of welding up a stand for that giant reel of carbon, I was able to buy some and then put an iron pipe between for an axle and it works good enough. So I'm able to pull the poltrusions um, through there, through my chop saw, and then I got a cut list and I'll show you the pile of carbon that we're cutting right now for the first course. So we're getting started with the first course here. Ryan has the cut list there, so he's arranging them in order. Um, we're about halfway through the upper and lower first course of spar caps. So this spar gets a ton of these um, half inch by eighth inch thick. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we'll probably have a little contest of who can guess how many feet of carbon in this upper and lower total spar. And um, I'm not gonna give you any hints, but you'll just kinda, I guess, have to watch as we build the whole thing. And I don't know, we'll have some sort of prize. So right now we are cutting enough to do all of the upper and all of the lower. And it gets stacked nine high on the top, nine high on the bottom, and uh, a few rows deep. So uh, we're gonna keep at it. All right, so there's all the material cut for uh, one set of upper and lower caps. So there's nine rods per cap, and it'll get four sets of nine rods each. So four sets of nine upper and four sets of nine lower. So we're gonna keep cutting. All right, there is the entire stack of poltrusion cut for the whole wing. So there are four, I'm sorry, three bundles of nine and one bundle of five. So if you want to take your best guess of how many linear feet of uh, poltrusion you think that is, put your guess in the comments and whoever guesses closest to the nearest foot, um, I will send you some sort of prize. I don't know what that is yet, but uh, I'll figure something out. So I'm gonna start trying to put some of this stuff in the spar and see if we can't get going on that. All right, first section of poltrusions is down and I don't know if you can see here, but I've tapered all the ends and that's to uh, not create a stress riser in the spar so that the stress you know, falls off nice and easy throughout the cap. And uh, they're all sanded and uh, wiped down with acetone and you can see here that I'm starting to lay in uh, the carbon over the top. So I've got these little foam blanks in here kind of uh, holding the poltrusions against the side of the spar and then I'm laying carbon in over this. So we're going to do the first layer in here and then uh, we'll keep going. All right, so we've got four um, courses of poltrusions down here. I'll peel this back. You can kind of see them buried there a little bit and then uh, just got the carbon stuck down with a little bit of with a 3M71 spray there to kind of hold everything in place. So we're currently peel applying there. Um, the foam blocks are just to hold the poltrusions tight, you know, up against the sides of the mold. So uh, we'll get the peel ply in there and then we'll start in with the rest of the supplies and we're gonna go ahead and infuse the first round of poltrusions. Um, initially, I was only gonna put one course in because that's all I thought I could hold in place, but. As I went along, I figured out I could put more in there. Um, I had hoped to do them all in one shot, but really that's just not possible because uh, they just get kind of unwieldy. So um, all I've got left to do is that little pile there and then that little tiny pile there. So it'll be one more quick infusion just kind of in the center after this. So we'll get this done, infuse it tonight, um, peel everything up, and then maybe even do that last little bit tomorrow there. So we'll keep after it. All right, bleeder is all in the whole way. We're starting to put the transfer media in. Ryan's trimming it flush right now. So we're gonna put that down the whole thing and then we'll start putting in the vacuum ports and then the resin transfer port. And then uh, I think it's time to put it under vacuum. All right, everything is all set up and ready for infusion. And truth be told, I actually already had the bag on it and uh, pulled vacuum and was ready to infuse, but the vacuum wouldn't pull all the way down. I was chasing a leak and it turns out that it's actually pulling air through the plywood. And, um, you know, I knew that might be a problem and I hoped it wouldn't, but I kind of stuck my head in the sand and it's come back to bite me in the ass. So 
what I did do is I sealed all of the seams on the plywood and uh, I really hope that wouldn't be an issue, but what's happening is it's actually pulling so much vacuum that if you reach your hand underneath when it's, when it's uh, drawn down, you can actually feel air up underneath pulling through. So what I'm gonna try to do is uh, seal the top of the table uh, the best I can. I bought some Flex Seal actually. I'm gonna try to paint that on around the mold. And uh, if that doesn't work, um, right, one quart of Flex Seal later and that's where we're at. Uh, I made sure to go around and seal up to the edges of the mold real well. Um, stuff's actually kind of cool. It's the first time I've used it. It reminds me a lot of the gel coat I use, actually. It uh, brushes out the same, flows very similar. Anyway, um, if I were ever to do this again, I would not use plywood. I, I cheaped out. I knew better. I should have used either melamine, which is coated on top, which is, you know, like the stuff the cabinets are made of. It's got a face on it. <clears throat> or I should have coated the table before that. So anyway, um, this says 24 to 48 hours to let this cure. I was really hoping to try to bag it again today, but I don't know. Uh, I've got the heater on up there, so we'll see. Let this go, we'll see what happens, see if I can save it. <laughs> seal on the uh, on the spar here so what we end up doing is actually dragging bag all the way underneath the whole thing and uh, actually we just started the infusion so you can see the resin just starting to migrate here it's coming down the tube and uh, you'll see it it's just starting to spread out so here we go and uh, we'll see what happens. Well, the infusion actually went pretty smooth, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, Took about 40 minutes or so to pull the resin in and I only had to work two little spots so I'm really happy it went out everywhere as you could see from that little video I just showed you a little trench run there so now I'm just gonna let it sit and um, I guess that's it for this video we'll unbag it next video and keep going on the next uh, the next round and hopefully we'll get this spar done soon so thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you next one later